UFC fighters has given their final predictions for Islam Mahachev versus Dustin Poirier UFC 302 that is taking place on June 1st. First of all, we will start off with Arman Sarukin who is the former opponent of Islam Mahachev. Islam Mahachev has already won a fight with Arman Sarukian. And in a recent interview with the New York Post, Arman Sarukian told the media his honest opinion on Dustin versus Islam fight and who is he picking or choosing and the whole scenario regarding this bout. We'll see some of thoughts by Arman Sarukian. Uh, I see like Islam gonna try to push him to the cage to take him down and uh, try to hold him, submit him. And uh, but if he couldn't do that, if he can't do that, it's gonna be dangerous. If he, if he wants to box him, I think last important in a different level, like his punch, his speed, like. He can knock him out very, very fast. So that's why Islam gotta uh, try to take him down right away. So, yeah. And uh, for me, uh, for me, the favorite is Islam on this fight. But like, I can put on my money on uh, Dustin Poirier KO. So because uh, it it could be happen. After Arman, we have Conor McGregor talking about Islam Mahachev vs Dustin Poirier UFC 302 bout and Conor McGregor really thinks that Dustin Poirier is going to get the job done against Islam Mahachev but he has a bit more analysis you can say regarding this bout so we will hear from Conor McGregor that what he thinks about this bout and who is going to win so let's see what Conor has to say. I think Dustin can do him, yeah, I think Dustin does him, knocks him out. I think the things that Makachev does wrong, as you know, the things he's not good at, he, f he fumbles over his feet, usually early on, and falls into shots. He's been knocked out by a back check hook from a southpaw before inside the UFC, and you know, that's one of Dustin's best shots. If Dustin's ever going to do it, it'll be this time. Yeah, now obviously Dustin does his things bad also that feed into Makachev's strengths. So it's going to be a good fight to see which one shows up. But it's all to play for. There is no clear favourite in it. And, uh, you know, if you look at Dustin's last fight, he was getting manhandled by Benoit Saint-Denis. And, and he stayed, uh, you do it, and he stayed, he stayed with it. And then caught him, you know, got back to his feet, stayed with it and caught, landed his shot. So if ever, you know, yeah, that's great experience to be going into this bout. If there's ever a chance for him to get it done, this will be it. Who do, who do I wish for? Who, do, who would I like to see? You yeah, know, either or. I have history with both. And, you yeah, know, let's see how it goes. After Conor McGregor, we have Max Holloway, the BMF champion. We will hear from Max that what he thinks about Islam versus a poor year. So let's see without wasting further time. It should be fun, man. I, I think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, I think Dustin is coming to his own again and uh, it should be exciting. In the end, we have former BMF champion talking about this bout and this battle between Islam Mahachev and Dustin Poirier so we will hear from Justin Gagey that what he thinks from his experience and his point of view that who is going to take the win and uh, how this fight will go so let's see what Justin has to say um, and of course we have to talk about UFC 302 coming yeah. up now June 2nd mm -hmm. do you think Poirier deserves that title fight since you know you beat him quite badly yeah. I think under the circumstances he, he, he deserves it you know um, the two contenders that came Max Holloway um, Armin Sarukian both you know just fought neither one of them was willing to turn around uh, well Sarukian wasn't so yeah I mean Poirier is the next best option he's done so much in this sport that you know you can't really ever complain when he gets a title shot and how would you approach a fight against Islam Makachev well, we've both been in there with Habib already, so we have an idea. They're obviously not the same fighter or the same, they don't fight the same styles, but they you know, are both really heavy grappling. But, you know, you really just got to trust in your ability to, to grapple for the whole fight. You know, if, if your cardio is there and, you know, you can survive those those attacks, then eventually you're going to get back to the feet and, and be able to cause damage if you're in good enough shape. 
But that's a wrap from this video of UFC fighter predicting Islam Mahachev and Dustin Poirier fights. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Yeah, who are you supporting or who you think is going to win this fight and the real main event? Let's fill up the comment section and I will see you in the comment section as well. So that's it. Make sure you all subscribe. Make sure you all turn on the notification for more interesting and latest dates and interesting footages from the combat world. And that's it. Thanks for watching.